What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Cities Skylines, where I think focusing on education is probably what I want to do next. So education is not looking so good for high schoolers. Not looking so good for high schoolers. Unfortunately, you just got to do what you got to do, I guess. I, I've looked at a couple different walkthroughs and things like that, and it seems like they're just putting education all over the place once you've got your bus stops and things in. Basically, the way they made it seem is like you need a ton of elementary schools, you need like some high schools, and then you need a metric ass ton of, I'm sorry, you need an ass ton of elementary, you need a little bit of high schools, and then you only need like one or two of universities, like one for every major pop center, basically. However, it doesn't really appear to be helping that much. Well, it looks like they're actually digging themselves out of the Dark Ages. This might work. Do you dig out of the Dark Ages? Is that what it is? I don't know if you dig out of the Dark Ages. I feel like you would tunnel upwards out of the Dark Ages. Still, it might be a decent plan to continue, I don't know, just dropping a few more of these in around the place so that people could get around to them. Let's have a look at our elementary situation. Okay, the elementary situation right there is not so bad. For these larger areas, I figure like an elementary school right there... And an elementary school may be over here, because this is, like, a city area. So there's a lot of people living in each of these high-rises. Yeah, there's nine households living in each of these, so they're going to have a lot of kids that need access to school. And so I would assume that you would need to drop in a ton of educational-type stuff for these bigger areas. So that's what I'm going to do before it gets filled in with other stuff. Oh, we're almost out of money. Never mind. So maybe I should hang out for a little bit, and let's just, like, wait and see what happens. Still, I'm hoping that... Our education begins to increase slightly. It looks like it is. It just takes some time, I guess. It's creeping slowly. It's creeping slowly. We're down to 37%, so there it is. The high school availability is there. The elementary school availability is there. So if people want to make use of it, I've tried my best to put in transit and make this whole thing function so that they can make use of the resources that are available to them as citizens. But unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that aside from just like keep putting stuff in and hope that it drops off. I think I vastly underestimated the amount of education I need, though. I watched another guy play, and he had stuff, like, everywhere. Like, he had basically one, like, every other block. And it's not that his city was more organized than mine. He was just like, bam, 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 like, dropping it in. So what do these people need? These people need... Do they have a lot of kids? They have children, so I assume that they need them. Did I already drop in a high school over here? We also have no water along this edgy part right here. I may have expanded a little bit too quickly, but that's okay. I mean, this stuff is always going to be here for later. So right about the time that we catch up anyways, it should be all right. We have no water running down to this spot. Let's get that maximized. There we go. Now that that's been done, let's wait for the cash to trickle on in. We're gaining citizens. The city is getting larger and larger and larger. How are things going with education? Are we looking better over here? we got to be looking at least a little bit better. You've got... How could you be poorly educated? You live next door to an elementary school. Oh, I see things converting! Got the high school right there. Got a high school right there. It's looking pretty good to me right now. It's looking pretty good. We don't have a high school on this side of town, which I think might be where I was failing. So we'll drop that right there, and hopefully people get themselves a little bit more educated. How are we looking right here? The educational system, since we have so many... Let me go to my... Where's my budgetary? There it is. We need my budgetary thing. I don't actually think we need this much education. Like, we might be able to drop this back to, like, 115 slightly. Nobody likes budget cuts, but... I don't, we've got so many schools that I don't think we need the increased pop cap on any of the buildings, so I might just be wasting money right now. I don't know if it increases the efficiency of the buildings either, but I figure it's worth, they look like they're still upgrading regardless of what I've done here. See, I skipped irregardless because I know you all hate it. I skipped irregardless, even though it's a real word. I know we can have this conversation. It's a real word, but, you know. Okay, so that zone right there is looking a little bit stacked up, but we're not going to be adding on to this at all in the future anyways. So I don't think there's much it's emptying out. Did they take these over to it's 0% full? Well, hell, that means we can just get rid of it then. Yeah, go ahead, because I think we put in a processing plant, didn't we? Let me see here. Yeah, we put one in right there. So if these are all running on empty, that one's 24%, that one's 77%. All right, that's fine. I mean, we'll keep those where they are. How are these doing up here? They're 94% full. So rather than do this right here, let me bulldoze you. The building is not empty. We'll then empty it out, shall we? Yeah, empty it. Go ahead. I give you full-on permission to empty out to other landfills. And what we'll do right now is then we'll go over to here with the burner. 
And we'll make that happen. Now, I don't know if they empty into the burners. I would assume that they just do that intuitively by themselves. If anybody could answer that question. Oh, wow, it's sprouting up over here. Oh, my God, it looks like Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get how to get to Splattercat Street? I don't know if you want to live on Splattercat Street. Splattercat Street sounds like it would be messy. Do we have any? Oh, we need, We have residential needs. We have residential needs. Well, then let's handle those because we have a little bit of money. And so we can hang out for a bit and we can make some roads in here if we need to. I one way will one way work for all these I don't know how the traffic's gonna look on all these I've done my best to make sure that you know things work the way they're supposed to I've put in the best roads I possibly can after that it's all just sort of hope this works I guess I'll stick with four lanes for right now we've got straight roads so I don't think let's go right there maybe We'll just see what we can fill this in with. It's not going to look the nicest with the roads how they are. Sorry, I have to focus really, really hard when I do stuff like this because simple manual tasks drain my brain power. For other people, they might not, but for me, it's pretty bad. Let's do some curvy roads down in here, too. Like, maybe take this down to here. Go, like, out to right there. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't do what I wanted it to. That is unfortunate and saddens me greatly. Ew, that looks ugly. I don't like that at all. That upsets me. Go away. I don't even want to look at you right now. Because you're just like a symbol of the awfulness that is my city planning skill. Go to right there. Over here, we're going to have to figure out some way to bring this in. Eh, maybe we'll do like a small street right here. Maybe we'll do like a small street. How about that? We haven't done any small streets in a while. Let's do a little one. Go with, like, one of these guys. Yeah. Micromanaging. All that wasted space, though. All that wasted space. Are we seriously going to connect that little tiny road to this giant area? Cool. Wasted space, whatever. I don't like using all the space that I have in front of me. Forget that. Space is meant for leaving right there. That's why they've invented space bags, for example. Everybody needs more space, right? Is that the lesson that we're trying to learn right now? This episode brought to you by Space Bags. It's space Bags, I don't even think they're a real thing. I think that's just a slang term. That seems alright. Maximize our usable area. And then we'll call some of this... Ew. Maybe like a little road right here. This will be like that back road in the middle of the inner city for some reason. Just to give us like some extra building space or something. I don't know. It looks awful right now. But I've got to get rid of these power lines. But I think I should be able to get rid of them now without having to worry about it too much. Let me take a look at my power grid real fast. It should be able to connect through right there. So I should be able to get rid of all these ancillary lines. And also destroy one of my roads on accident. Because that's how I ride. That's how I ride, son. We got a four-way road with trees right there. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Awesome. City's coming together pretty nicely. These buildings down here have me a tad worried, but we're making money hand over fist right now. Like, we are really, really profitable here in Bimington. If there's one thing I know about the American dream, it's that profitability seems to factor into it somehow. Let's go over here. I'm assuming that Bimmytown is in the United States. I mean, they're driving on the right side of the road, so, you know, not a hard extrapolation to make. High density housing up in here. Yeah, there it is, boy. Oh, I don't want to do that right there, though. I want to leave the roads sort of like open but we need more housing that's what the game seems to be implying right now by that giant green meter that it's waving very very excitedly at us look at these tooltips i am trying to give you build buildings right now why have you not done this yet there we go we got that right there fantastic i think that's gonna work out pretty well and I don't know if I want to go all the way around the horn right here, but I kind of sort of do because it seems sort of pleasing to me. Do we want the university to be in the middle of a residential area? I don't think that we do. I think we want it to be in a commercial area. Yep, commercial area it is. I enjoy painting these. It's relaxing. It's very, very relaxing. It's soothing while I'm smoothing out our zoning. That seems cool. I mean, I should probably leave the... Eh, let's just leave this alone for right now because I am going to have to build roads in a little bit. And so I'll try my best to leave that open next to all these major roads just in the off chance. See, I got myself into trouble with the first place that I built. 
up top, this little suburb up here. I got myself into trouble with the suburb. I got myself into trouble with the suburb because I didn't plan very well for the future, and so I'm gonna try and do that better this time. I'm like learning things as I go along. Neurons are firing in my brain right now. New correct, like new connections are being made. Like there's all kinds of weird stuff happening. And so people are just gonna have to, I'm probably, let's just go all the way around the horn and make sure that this doesn't happen anywhere up in here. There we go. And so these buildings should be up and ready to ride. Let's check the water infrastructure is looking good. Oh, it's looking pretty swell. It's looking pretty swell. We may have power problems though pretty soon. Well, we have 88 megawatts left. I, I want this menu to close when I hit escape. Thank you. There we go. So we got 88 megawatts left. It may work out the way that we need it to. Oh, we need fire safety very, very bad. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, I messed up. We need a fire station. Like, a real fire station up in here with, like, a fleet of fire trucks. And additionally, before we go any further, I would strongly recommend... Oh, that was expensive. Let's wait until we make a little bit more money then, because this entire area could burn down like horrible style if I mess this up. Let's also, I'll probably leave like a, I don't know, we need to put a landfill somewhere for all this, or at least a trash burner to make sure that this works properly. I'm trying to get my cash back so that we can build a police station. That was the next thing. Oh my god, we have dead people piling up too. So a cemetery maybe might be a good plan? How do we deal with dead people? Where is that at? We got a cemetery right here. Let's drop that in while we got the space for it on that side. Does that take us into the black right now? I don't think that it will. I think the cemetery handles all of our morgue operations too, and these are all little things that I forgot about while I was in here. So while our profitability is like skyrocketing, right? Okay, maybe not skyrocketing, but it's definitely sort of like sky... What were those little rockets that were back in the 80s and 90s that you filled them up with water? They're not, sky... they're not skyrocketing, but they're sky squirting. They were a little bit slower, although I think kids put their eyes out on those all the time too, which was a little bit worrisome. Like, I don't know why so many kids were pimping them up with pressure and then looking down at the rocket like, hmm, let me position my eye perfectly over the y-axis of this rocket. Like, I don't know why they were doing that. I don't know. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should position. There we go. You gotta do a little bit higher. Maybe I should position my eye right above the z-axis of this rocket. Yeah, yeah, I take a little bit higher. I don't know. I want to get into voice acting someday, but I, I just don't have time for it right now. I need to make myself like a LinkedIn and stuff. Like, I have voices and things that I do. Like, I would enjoy doing them. I don't know. It seems like a plan to me. I have several. I think I have seven or eight voices right now that I can do. I don't know. I intersparse them around, and some of them are very similar, so there's that, but... What do we have going on? How's the policing going in here? Because I would assume that it's probably pretty bad. Educationally, how are we doing? 30%! Oh, we're down! Ah, break the barrier! Break the barrier, Ignorati! Break the barrier! Okay, so with this area over here, we may want to consider putting in access to a few more schools and also a public transit system seems like it might be the way this needs to go we do have an overland train system that we can make but i don't know it seems like a yeah we could fit a bus stop in right there fit in a bus stop why not and then we'll start making some bus stops in here just making them go all the way down making these look all nice and beautiful yeah there's our bus right there that's our guy as the usb once said there's our bus We'll go up in here. Let's have this weave all over town, actually. Just have it do its thing, and then we'll have it come back down this way. Maybe actually pick up a few people. Is this one way only? I might have made it one way on accident. Did I? No, I don't think that I did. I don't know what's going wrong right there, but we'll figure it out anyways. Complete the line right there. So we've got our first bus system going. Our next line will run over to here to all the dead space where nobody can get around to. Oh, we have a bunch of buildings. Okay, so let's go down to here. I know we have to get this infrastructure new. No. I know we have to get this infrastructure done like right now. Otherwise, it's going to bite us later on. And so I'm thinking we go just weave our way down. Yeah, that seems good. Just make sure the buses are hitting everything right now. You would think that I would have this sorted out by now, but I don't. It's still very difficult for me to do these bus lines every single time without, like, screwing up horribly. Yeah, that looks like it's got decent overlap. That'll work out. Get the bus lines running. What we got going on up here? Nothing. Okay, that'll work for right now. I'm happy with it. How is this doing? Is it actually doing anything? Passengers service last week. 298. Well, it's the one thing I know. It's that having service passengers keeps them nice and smiling. That's for sure. What does this do? It fuck uses on it? Okay. Let's turn the game back on. 
I don't know how expensive it's going to be subsidizing all these bus stops. Like, we are going to take a little bit of a hit to our productivity. We're still making money, so... I don't know. It should even out in a second. It looks like it's going to take us down to, like, maybe 11.5. Buses are expensive. They do cost you money. So we are putting in a lot of infrastructure right now to try and fix all this. We also put in a really, really big fire station to try and keep this exact thing from a fire station. Are you sending anybody right now? Fire station. Oh, fire station. Why are you failing me like this right now? Aren't you supposed to be, like, doing this? There he is. Put that building out. It's all burned out and messed up now, though. Oh, man. Ooh, look how tall that one's getting. This makes me happy for some real reason. Like, the erections rising high into the sky makes me happy. There's a place where I used to... There used to be a place called Santa Rosa Erections. Or, no, it was Santa Rosa Professional Erections. It was a construction company. <laughs> Oh, it was a construction company in Santa Rosa. It's like Santa Rosa Professional Erections. And then I, I, was, I always thought that their buzz phrase would just be like, Santa Rosa Professional Erections. Erections so good, you gotta pay us to have them. Like, it's gotta have something like super awesome right there. I don't know. Erections so good, you gotta pay us to have them. All right, we're starting to lag out a little bit. The frame rate's... Oh, <gasps> dead people. Oh, no. What's up with all the dead people around here? Why y'all dying so much? You need to calm down with that shit. Let's see here. Is it under... It's under... Does it collect dead people? Okay, so that's how we get dead people. Maybe put one in right there. We may need a few more... We may need a few more graveyards. It seems possible. And then we might want to wrangle one out here somewhere. Oh my god, the landfills. They're everywhere. It's like rise of the landfill. Okay. Well, we don't really have a whole lot of room on this side of town for it, but I could build an extra road, I guess, just to... Just to make it happen. Actually, we could get rid of that road. It's not even being used right now. That road is, like, serving no function at the moment. So let's go and we'll put in... Yeah, we'll put you in right there. That'll help out a tiny bit. Lots of dead people over here, too, strangely enough. I don't want to put a... It seems disrespectful. Is it just me? It seems disrespectful to put a cemetery next to, you know, the industrial pollution slash trash heap. I mean, realistically, that is where we all end up. We all just become fertilizer in the end, but still so how are you doing over here garbage reserves a lot of garbage reserves in fact so maybe empty you out did the one did i ever plan any i planned one of these for being emptied out at one point or another so that one's empty let's destroy that and that's going to allow us to build another one right here it's going to hurt our pollution but it's way way better so you start offloading across the street is that how they're going to do it? I'd like to watch these right now. Oh, it is how they do it. Okay, good. So offload as much garbage as you can to this particular facility. Sure. Absolutely. Wow, these garbage trucks over here are having like a feeding frenzy. They're behaving like sharks. Just, ah, dump all the shit. And that's, that's all that they're doing right now. Okay, stop offloading. Stop offloading right now. That didn't take in nearly as much as I expected it to. They should drop it off there all on their own, though, right? And we are getting electricity out of this, so it's not like there's a major downside to this. We get 13 megawatts from burning trash. No, turn it on. Don't turn it off. Turn it on, turn it on. Don't turn my trash collector off. Don't do that. Would be the way that I would close. We would just go, like, sing a little song to inspire the gods of trash to maybe be on our side. Just like, don't stop my trash collection. Not right now. And that's what I would do. That's the way that I would finish it. Everything's looking really, really good right now. I'm pleased. Like, we were looking like we were in a little bit of, like, a dark zone for a bit. Oh, people are sick. Don't be sick. Where's our... Where's our... Do we need more hospitals or something? Is that what's gone wrong? Whoop, whoop. Do we need more people to come out and pick y'all up? I know you live next to the landfill, so that's probably the problem. That's more than likely. I think I see the cause. But, do I have a hospital in here at all? See, I didn't stop quick enough. Oh my god, we're at 16,000 people. Hell yeah. A crematorium. That's where they make cream out of dead human bodies. It's Soylent ice cream. Doesn't that sound delicious? Mmm, this tastes like grandpa. Let's see here. We've got a water treatment plant where we can... Do you want to not... Oh, you can build a sewer treatment plant. Purifies 85%. Yeah, we should probably do one of those too. God, we are so rich right now. $14,000 a week. That's banging right there. That's gangster money right there. That's CEO money. That's like running the block money right there. That building is burning down. You all might want to take care of that. Just real quick like. 
Maybe I should bulldoze this and put in a crematorium. The building is not empty. How do I fix that? Do I offload dead people? Oh, you gotta... Yikes, you gotta offload dead people. Oh, so that's, that's concerning. Alright. Well, maybe go to the crematorium. Oh, you can actually build it, like, right alongside. Does it give pollution or anything? Maybe it's because we're full up on dead bodies. Is that, is that what has occurred right here? Where was our first... This was our first cemetery, right? Oh, they only have like a thousand bodies in there. That's a lot of bodies. I mean, that's a lot of dead people. If you have a thousand bodies in your backyard, obviously there's something to be worried about. But I'm happy right now. I'm really, really happy. We've got a little bit of sickness off on that side, but things are coming together. Things are coming together nicely. How's our education going? Because that's been the struggle of our generation right now. Whereas constipation was the struggle of the generation that came before us. Just in case you were wondering. No, you weren't. All right. Well, if you weren't wondering, then I guess that's that. We'll put in that right there. And educationally, we're not doing so great. Actually, we're doing pretty good as far as our elementary school availability goes. Although, I'll put one right there. And then our landfills out here look like they are full up. They're not. So, what's up with the garbage collection out here, Chief? What's going on with all that? And maybe build that right there. Maybe throw in a little more light residential out on this side. Yeah, maybe fill that up a little bit so that we're not wasting space. Whole bunch of squares not being taken care of out here. And they all live in the suburbs. Ah! I called everybody in the suburbs squares. Everybody in the suburbs are squares in our city. Is squares? Hmm. I don't like it. Either way, people are super square in our town. They don't even know what criminality is. Except for, yeah, criminality just doesn't even exist. We've created a utopia. Everybody here is a square, and there's nothing wrong with being square. Huey Lewis told me it's hip to be square, and then also that, you know, as you create catchy music, it seems possible that psychopaths may start to listen to it while they murder people. Natural resources. We have oil down here. That'll be pretty awesome for later. Maybe I'll handle that. Maybe I'll handle that business. I feel like this is a little bit mashed together, and maybe I should, like, be a tad more careful about the way that I create residential areas. I don't know. This flat area could probably get turned into residences pretty soon. What do we need right now? We need commercialism. Okay, so since we need commercialism, I was just looking through some of my menus. I That's all that it was for me. We have a lot of garbage that needs to be collected. Let's go and we need to make a couple of these little bad boys out here. Maybe along... I don't even know where to put these. We definitely don't want them here. If... Maybe we'll make this the processing area. I don't know. We'll send out garbage trucks from down here, maybe. So we'll get a landfill right there. Yep. Fun fact, most fills are, in fact, landfills. Because I have never met anybody named Phil who can fly or otherwise glide. So all fills are bound to the ground. Therefore, all fills are landfills. But still, how many times am I going to make that joke? My God, with the fill tool, I know. Lots of Philip-related humor in this series. It's odd. It's odd how frequently Philip likes stars as part of this series. I think things are working out pretty well right now. People are using the roads that they need to use to get around. It looks like we got a little bit of a traffic jam right here. But it's only temporary. I mean, look, the light comes on and everything works. I will build a few more roads that are going to actually make this elbow right here no longer quite so useful. And... I'm happy with the way things are going. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Cities Skylines. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Take care out there, everybody. And as always, I do.